Guys, come on. Don't be sneaking up on me like that. Man, can't you guys just let me do a job without watching me? Come on, now. Anyway, guys, listen. Um, you guys didn't see me picking my nose there, did you? I hope not, man. I hope not. Okay, guys. Welcome back to Southside More Style. Here today, we're painting the wing on the Honda Civic. Yep, yeah, you've heard me right. I finally installed the wing on Faith's Honda Civic. Remember the Honda Civic, you know, I've had her in a lot of videos, she got exhaust on, all those things, and painted the roof, and painted the trunk, and you guys can see videos on that all over the place. Now guys, now guys, you know this channel is all about doing things a cheaper way and trying to find better ways. Well listen, okay? I got to show you something. This is what I'm painting the wing with. It's gloss black trim clad rust paint. It's a big can, man. It's a big can. Let me compare sizes. You know, guys, sometimes in life, everybody compares sizes once in a while. This is a three times faster than traditional spray paints. Big can. Canada's number one rust paint. Can't forget that. So guys, listen, I've seen a lot of videos on this. And people are getting some really wicked amazing results if it's done the proper way with painting with this. Now this wing that I installed, I didn't put it on camera, come on guys, it's just a few bolts up under, drill a few holes, you put on a wing, the wing is there, good, nice. So, so I installed the wing a few days ago. Now, on all the instructions in the box, it says it's ready for paint. So it doesn't need primer, it doesn't need anything, it says it's ready for paint. So I just took it, and I windexed it, you know, just, just ordinary windex. So I windexed it, I wiped it down. I've been making sure it's dust free, everything. And I'm gonna get ready to paint it now soon, but first I gotta tape up the car. And you know, I'm gonna use my favorite blanket. I always use my favorite blanket to cover up the car. I always use it. Listen guys. Still wondering if you guys saw me picking my nose back there. You guys kind of snuck up on me there. Didn't even know you were there. So, I mean, you know, if I'm doing stuff alone, maybe I might have been picking my nose. I don't know. Anyway, guys, not messing around. Let's get to, uh, let's get to taping this all up and blocking stuff off. And let's see if we can't make this work. Guys, I've been wiping this off. I'm wiping this off. I washed it. I washed it four or five times. I wiped it off a dozen times. I think it's good to go. I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to start taping this all up. See if I can't, you know, get it. So, you know, I hate it when you buy new tape. Can you guys help me out? Where, where is, where, where, where is it? Where is it? It's right there. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm not sure if that was you out there or if that was that guy over there or it might have been that guy up there. I'm not sure, but somebody pointed it out to me. It's a nice day here on the rock. It's what we call it, Newfoundland. You know, that little island, east side of Canada. It's uh, started off a little rain, but it's cleared up and it's ready for me to do what I got to do with this. That takes care of that part of it. It's never fun taping. Never fun taping, guys. Don't ever forget that. She doesn't even know I'm out there doing this now. She doesn't even know I'm even doing this right now. She's sleeping. She's sleeping. She was working all yesterday. And she's sleeping. Working all yesterday, and then she was up baking all night. All kinds of treats. Come on now, that's pretty cool, right? 
So she's gonna have a big surprise. Finally gets her wing painted. Okay guys, I'm putting on my I'm putting on my favorite blanket here now. So guys, I think that's okay. I'm using my favorite blanket, so how can it go wrong? You guys know from all the other videos, when I use my little starry blanket, everything works out fine. It's taped really good, taped really well, so I think it's gonna be fine. And I'm gonna give it a light coat first. I'm gonna set you guys up and make sure, okay, so that camera's on, you know guys, I get to check all cameras here today, okay? It's not just one. I get to check all cameras, make sure everything is in good condition. And I think, I think we're golden. I think we're ready to go. So guys, I gotta put on my sunglasses here. Cause you know, you gotta look cool when you're using trim clad okay so like i said guys i've watched a lot of videos and some really good really good results have been coming from this the trick to this is now i've shook this can up before i started any of this the trick to this is you have to give a very very light spray first very light you can't go thick with your spray because you'll get runs then when you go to second you can go some heavier then when you go to third you can go heavier again that's what I've been seeing on YouTube with this can. And this is a high gloss paint. And the results I've seen from YouTube, you guys can go and check it out yourself after this one. Some nice jobs. Look at the width of that tip. This spray is beautiful. Just watch this. Look at that. Man, I can paint a car in 12 seconds. like anything it's gonna look funky at first that's that's a given that's any paint that's out there that's always the show always the case okay guys i'm gonna let this sit for a while then I'm gonna come back and hit it again with another coat. So I'm gonna shut you guys down for a bit. Okay guys, I'm gonna give it a second coat. 
very lightly second coat. So guys, I have to say, right right at the hop here, I'm kind of not liking this. Kind of not liking it. It's kind of not doing what I would want it to do. We'll see here, but I may have to sand this all down again. I'm looking at this and I'm not liking it. So guys, I'm showing you this, okay? <clears throat> Don't ever use this. Don't ever use this on anything. It's absolute garbage. It, I'll put the pictures, I took pictures of it. It was blotchy and crazy. It didn't spray right. It's absolute garbage. Do not use this on anything automotive, okay? Don't. I wouldn't recommend using this on anything. Uh, I've seen videos. They used it. And it worked. But I'm telling you, I did it right here. And look, I spent hours. I used uh, my paint gun cleaner. So I used paint thinner. And I had to take everything off. I had to bring everything off of this. You can see right down to the natural primer that was on it. And I had to take everything off of this wing, which took me forever, is what it is, right? Is what it is. And uh, yeah, so this trim clad rust paint, ultimate rust protection, the big can, the three times faster turbo spray system. Don't ever use it. Do not ever use this. I always told you guys, if I find something's good, I'm going to put it on the videos. If I find something that's bad, I'm also going to put it on the videos. And you guys were seeing as I was doing this, I was saying I wasn't liking it. It got terrible. 
it looked like a pin cushion. I don't even know how to explain it. It was really bad, really no good. And this was fully prepped and washed, wiped down, everything was clean. And this didn't work. This is absolute garbage, horrible. Do not ever use it. See? So don't make that mistake, guys. I'm going to the trusted, tried and true, what I always use, and what always comes out right. I'm going to use the Rust Oleum paint and primer. This stuff I know works well. This stuff is good. And I'm going to stick to this. Never again. That stuff went on like rock guard. Okay, that's what it went on like was rock guard. It's absolutely nasty. Very, very, very bad. So I got to wipe this down again with Windex now. Guys, I was hours bringing this back down. It was really bad. I will never use that again. Not in this lifetime. So I'm going to set you guys up. Look at my hands, guys. Just look at that. That's absolutely crazy. I was cleaning off. I had to clean it off. And that took me forever. Yeah, so guys, don't ever purchase that. That's no good. Well, that's what the channel's all about. That's what YouTube's all about. If something's no good, let people know. That's what I've always done on this channel. I must say though, for me, that's a first. That's the first time something didn't really work out for me in regards of painting. Usually when I find something on YouTube and I see somebody else use it and it worked for them, I stick to it, but this one just didn't work. And it wasn't about the prepping of this. This was prepped perfectly. This was just nasty, no good product. That's what that was. And we won't do that mistake again. I'll never use that and never buy it. I wouldn't recommend putting that on anything. Nothing, nothing. I wouldn't recommend. When I first start spraying the car and the video camera was on, I instantly to myself noticed that it wasn't coming out of the can all that well. But I said, okay, let's give it its chance. See what happens on the dry of the first coat. It was nasty. Just all the way around nasty. Okay, so we're back to square one here now. We're right back to square one. And listen guys, I know this is gonna work because I've used this so many times. Light coats as always. Always shake up your can really well. Before I start this guys, I'm gonna change the battery out in here because it's low. So I'm just gonna change the battery out and I'll be right back in the same spot. See you guys. I'm in the same spot. I just changed the battery, so that's good. Okay, so I'm going to start back at this uh, wing now. Like I said, with the tried, tested, and true, the Rust-Oleum, uh, I know this stuff is good. That was such a terrible experience, guys. That was nasty. And I got to think, you know, the swing's not really cheap, right? And that was bad. That was bad. Oh, look at that. See? Instantly, I can tell this is so much better. But guys, I've used this for years. I've used this stuff. And I know this stuff is good. Of course, you got to go light coats like anything.
Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit. Okay, guys. Let's go for the second coat. It's looking really good, guys. A lot better guys I'll let that sit now a little bit of work I'm gonna to have to do with it but I'll do that when it dries nice few coats I'm gonna let this one sit in for a while before I do anything else with it and that should be okay but it's looking pretty good okay guys I'm gonna give it the third coat I've let this sit for a long time and you guys can take a look and check it out. What do you see?
Looking nice, guys. So guys, look at that, and that's wet. Look how nice that's come out. Absolutely beautiful. Nice and shiny. Looks really good. Look at that, guys. Hey, look, guys, it's our favorite buddy, John. So guys, you see that? I'm very happy. Look, you see that, guys? I always told you this. On this channel, if something don't work right, I will show you and I'll make sure everything is in this video about that product I use first. Now you can see, you can look at this. I, I didn't put it on the video, but I bought that whole wing down with uh, paint thinner. Bought it right back down natural. I primed it, I done it all. I didn't put it on video. And I did it old school style. Using this, I put, you saw. I put three coats of paint and then a fourth really, really, really heavy, okay? That's the Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch, two times ultra coverage. Semi-gloss. Plastics. Don't ever use, oops, right here. <laughs> Don't ever use this stuff here, guys. It's absolute garbage. What I can tell you about this, in my opinion, when it goes on, it doesn't even itself out. It stays like rock guard and it just blotches and it was absolutely crazy and you guys will see that but look at this wing as this wing dries it's actually going to look better than what it's actually looking right now and right now it's looking absolutely beautiful and as it dries it's even going to be better look at that shine look at that nice even coat now I'll get back to you in about an hour and show you this wing and it'll even look better than what it's looking right now as it dries more imagine that so stick with me guys the next time you see me and the car it'll be all cleaned up and took outside just baking in the sun because what's going to go good for that paint now is to be baked and that sun will bake that paint beautifully so stay tuned Okay guys, all done. That was a crazy ordeal. Absolutely crazy ordeal. Uh, so now you guys know what paint not to use. So I washed the car a little bit. I give it one of those quick waxes. I still got to do the hood, I know that. And I just give her a little wash down. And here's the wing. There's a couple of bad spots in it, but it came out pretty good, as you guys can see. I'm satisfied with it. In a couple days, I'm gonna buff it down, bring it down a bit, put a shine on it. That'll take care of some imperfections that's in it. I have a little run right here. I'll take care of that in a few days. So that'll be fine, but it's, it's a good job. Look at that. It's a really good job. Looks nice. Looks good. So there you have it. It's all finished. Sorry about the dogs barking. <clears throat> there you have it guys. I think it looks okay. Once I sand it all down, or sorry, once I get the DA and buff it all down, buff it all down, then put a nice wax on it, get that little run off. In a couple days I'll use a utility blade and bring it down and buff it out. And that'll be fine. I think it looks really good. A lot better than what it was wasn't painted. And there it is.
So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget guys, you can give me a like down there. You can leave me a subscribe way down there. Don't forget to check out my merch as always down there. Just click on more, you'll see it's all there. Everything is there. And Southside Boy Style is out.